So how does the two-stage thermostat work and why do we use two-stage thermostats? Okay, start out with why we use them. Now this is an old antique thermostat, but it shows how it works. That's why I'm using it. When you purchase a heating or cooling system for uh, your home or business, whatever it's for, the load is not the same all the time, especially in heat. Uh, you set, say, 70 degrees in the house, and if it's 40 degrees outside, you will not need as much furnace as if it was 15 degrees outside. So, you have to build a furnace so it'll handle uh, most of the coldest days. Uh, but most of the time it doesn't work at that capacity. The one we'll be covering here is two-stage furnaces that start usually half of the BTUs and then they'll go to the full uh, BTUs of the furnace when, uh, when necessary. The two-stage thermostat, when you turn, in, turning the heat up is just like the heat, the temperature and the structure going down. So as I turn it up, you can see the mercury move in one of the bulbs. That's first stage. Now, if I was heating my structure and that was not enough heat to match the heat loss of the structure, then the temperature would continue to go down. As I push this up a little farther, this one's set really long ways away, the second one goes on. That's the second stage. It's an energy saving device. It's a device that actually makes the temperature in the structure a little more steady because it's a closer match to the heat loss. So how do we hook these things up? Here's a look at the sub base of this thermostat. Now right here you'll see W1 and W2. W1 is first stage, W2 is second stage. So if I have a two-stage thermostat and I have a two-stage furnace, I'll put W1 from the furnace and w, uh, to the thermostat and W2 to the uh, thermostat. Then, if you turn the temperature up more than about two degrees, second stage will come on, or if it can't keep up with the load and the temperature continues to drop, it'll put second stage on. Now, I'm going to go into another little thing that we do with gas furnaces now. We actually set up a lot of these two-stage furnaces, and they come from the factory this way, and I can use a single-stage thermostat. Two-stage is actually better, but you can use a single-stage thermostat. What it does when, and I would, uh, I would jumper these two together, so that when it went on, it would just turn on W1 and W2. Now what that does on these newer furnaces is it allows the first stage to come on for about 10 minutes. It doesn't turn on the second stage, even though they're jumpered together. If they're both jumpered, then it'll come on for about 10 minutes in first stage, then it will go to second stage. That's kind of a poor man's way of setting up a thermostat so that if the temperature is not caught up in that first 10 minutes, it will add more heat to catch it up. That's all done by the integrated furnace control inside the furnace. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Two stages better, but it will work single stage reasonably well. So that is the two stage thermostat, why we use it and how you hook it up.